And race number eight now lines up this way. It is over the 1650 and a class two. Berlin Tenga gets the Angus Chung claim once again. Savaquin carries an extra five pounds for his last start win. Telecom Fighters is a five-time course and distance winner. Packing Award has the hood coming off. Rice Brethren has a new home. He's now with Jamie Richards. Cheerful Days has won five from eight a course and distance. Handsome 12. First time at Happy Valley and first time on the turf since September. And both Nimble Nimbus, he comes up in great and encountered. He comes out of the derby when ninth behind Voyage Bubble as Telecom Fighters leads them along here, Nick. He does indeed. I, I think he certainly can and will. He's drawn gate number eight and uh, he's got a, a super course and distance record, but he's got plenty of early pace as well. Uh, Everyone's Delight is a horse who uh, is drawn nicely here in one. Did lead three starts ago in running third, subsequently run on uh, and won on the all weather thereafter. So he'll be right, uh, right up there in the vanguard. Encountered, uh, he's only got a light weight in here compared to some, 120 pounds. And, uh, he usually can race very close to the pace there, Paul. Um, packing award, uh, might be caught a little bit deep from 11. Yeah, that's, he'll be looking for cover. He's just got that awkward draw and he does like to go forward. So I'm sure Lyle will be looking for some cover with him. Uh, Handsome 12, he gets back. He's coming to Happy Valley for the first time. We've seen him uh, perform really well on the all weather. Sometimes those horses can transfer that to Happy Valley. All right, we'll find out in uh, due course if that is the case for Handsome 12. But Nimble Nimbus comes up in grade in great form and he's trained by Ricky Yu. Ricky, Nimble Nimbus yeah. has, uh, is a horse of yours that's been in, in such wonderful form recently and this season. Um, goes back to Happy Valley on Wednesday night. How has he been since scoring last start? He, he's a, he's a horse that's keep improving. He's done well this season and uh, uh, his form has been solid. Uh, first attempt over the same trip and the class two. Uh, I reckon uh, with that good draw yet, I think he'll perform really good again. How do you rate him now going up into this grade? Obviously, this, this race is that bit stronger. Sava Quinn, a last start winner. You've got horses in there like Rise Brethren encountered. It's tougher for him, but I guess being in such good form will stand him in good yeah, stead. Yeah, I think we'll be class two. Uh, 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 you, need a, you need a draw to help him. With the lightweight, I think, uh, as I said, is the horse keep, keep improving. I think uh, he'll, 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 he'll do the job again. He's got very honest, very honest horse. What sort of horse is he to train, Ricky? What, what does he do in between sort of runs? I mean, do, is it just a case of keeping him nice and fresh and well, or? Oh yeah, he he, he loves to uh, to raise a little bit fresh, and uh, he's full of life. You're teaming up with Alexi Vidal. Alexi rides him for the first time. Um, is he the type of horse that is sort of an easy horse to get to know for a jockey? He's not a difficult horse to ride. I think uh, Jockey Badal, who uh, he'll enjoy himself, you know. He, 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 he's an easy ride. I'm sure he will. You and he have already enjoyed yourself mm. plenty this season. Um, I must ask you, how is Voyage Bubble? No, good as go. Yeah. He seems to never had a race. Where magnificent he, horse. Magnificent. He is a magnificent horse. Where does he go next, Ricky? Most likely uh, that um, the Champion Mile. Okay. And I guess taking on those those better class of horses, he, he would have to step up naturally. But he's a very progressive horse, isn't he? Yeah, he's a tough horse. Uh, put it this way, I reckon he's a horse with a lot of talent. Yeah. Yeah. He's on his way up. Uh, Eventually, he'll, he'll meet the big boys. Yeah. So uh, I choose him uh, to run against them uh, at the end of the month. Ricky Yu and Nimble Nimbus there to start the preview for race number eight. We move on, Nick, to our first replay. There's a stack of them here. These horses race oh. each other almost week in, week out. They do, yeah. I mean, I guess we'll start with the winner, Sava Quinn, shall we? I mean, he's chased home closely by Garitis, uh, running into second, and then Berlin Tango is the next best there. But um, look, Sava Quinn, he'd been threatening to do this, um, and this was the one day, Paul, that I don't think I tipped him. But um, <laughs> look, he, he did a good job of it. Hugh Berman was on board, stays on board. Bit more weight to carry this time. I quite like the run of the runner up here. Second up after a break, I thought he was good. Yeah, he, he hit the line strongly, didn't he? It was a, a good run. And as long as he doesn't get the second up itis, which, which we can see sometimes, um, I think he'll run well. I'm going to put Savaquin in because once he finds form, he normally holds his form. That was Garitas running second in that race. Off to the other weather we go here. Paul, everyone's delight, gets up the inside. Handsome 12 back in the field, but as you've pointed out, he's completely unknown here at the Valley. Yeah, we've seen horses come and, and win at big prices that are all where the horse is at the Valley in the past. But uh, look, I'm not so sure with, with this one. He's just going to get back 
and he'll need a bit of pace on, but we know he's very, very good here. You can see Savaquin had no luck in this race. Yeah, no, he didn't. He was able to uh, to atone, obviously, uh, winning on his most recent run. Do you know what? It was a great finish, um, obviously, there. You can see Handsome 12 just getting um, denied. That was a class one. I know it's all weather racing, and it's a little bit, perhaps, you know, a notch below turf racing, but he has won on turf in Australia. Um, and he's, he's of a decent standing and he's, he usually races well. Okay, that is uh, a good push for him. Now these two, Nick, here's your Garitis again. This was his first up win, so it's two starts ago for him. It's three starts ago for Encountered because the last two have been across a shot in. They have indeed, yes. Look, Garitis, um, really nice horse. It's in his third run of the season and, um, you know, this was a, a taking performance. He's then obviously, as we've seen, backed it up with a good second behind Sava Quinn. So, look, a really nice type horse. Um, Encountered Paul, he's obviously running the derby recently, so um, he's getting back into calmer waters. He is. Look, he's had three starts over the 1650 at Happy Valley. Two wins and just got mugged late in that one. So, um, with the lightweight, I think he's a big chance coming back from the derby. Okay. We've seen horses do it in the past. We yeah. have, and we'll see if he can do it again as well. And uh, Rise Brethren, Paul, here is a trial. He ran third in this trial uh, on rain-affected ground. It was pretty sloppy this morning, but uh, Jamie Richards now trains. Yeah, so he's a change of trainer. We know the horse Rise Brethren is a, a pretty good horse. He's won at Happy Valley as well. He's only had one go here over the 1650 and was placed. He seems in fine fettle at the moment. Uh, nice quiet trial here for him. So I'm going to include him on a minor line. Yeah, that, uh, that 1650 run you alluded to was often an £11 lower mark first up this season. So, look, he's improved a bit so far this campaign. Obviously, formerly with Danny Shum, now with Jamie. Hasn't been with Jamie all that long, but he's drawn a good gait. He's uh, employed Zach Purton's services to take the ride, and he knows the horse well. So, yeah, I quite like uh, Rise Brethren here. I think he's a chance. That's a good push for him, too. Debut for Jamie Richards in good style from the barn. But Encountered's going to come out of the derby, come back to Happy Valley and just win. I think so. Uh, I hope so. Uh, it's a strong <laughs> it's a strong race, but we know he's got really good course and distance stats, and this is going to be a lot easier for him than uh, running against uh, horses like Voyage Bubble. So he's on top. We're going to uh, coming back to the valley. Nimble Nimbus, look, he's going so well at the moment. We heard from Ricky Yu there. He's a no-nonsense type of horse. Uh, Silver Quinn in there for third, and uh, Rise Brethren we talked about as well. So 11, 10, 2 and 6. Yeah, I'm sticking with uh, Garitis here on the back of those two very good runs so far this season when returning to action. The win in the second, of course, and um, he does look well enough placed for mine in a race of this nature uh, to, uh, to go well from a good draw. Rise Brethren into second. Interesting runner in the race here for a new barn. Nimble Nimbus, uh, he's been good to me recently. Can't leave him out, though he is up in grade, lightweight, however. And Sava Quinn goes in as well. He was uh, good last time, uh, and hopefully he might just be able to continue in that sort of form. 8-6, 10-2 in the last. And the favourite punters agree with Nick because Garitis has come up the early favourite. He's at 4.4.